Thank you for coming, everyone. It's great to see lots of personal friends here, friends of JHP, uh, and just folks who are you know, happy to be here and support a number of great causes. We really, really appreciate it. For those of you who I don't know, uh, I'm Paul Germain, co-chair of tonight's event. And all, thank you very much. And also uh, 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 one of the original JHP folks from way back when. For many of you, uh, like me, who've been involved with the Jewish Heritage Programs, and who have known Menachem as a friend, as a mentor, and as an inspiration for many years, this is an important uh, evening for a whole host of reasons, but there are two in particular that I'd like to highlight. So first, in addition to continuing to show our support for JHP, which is why many of you are here tonight, which is an initiative that I founded or co-founded uh, back in 1991 uh, with my close friend who couldn't be here tonight, Ron Dermer. Uh, who's the ambassador, uh, for those of you who know him, uh, of Israel, Menachem and Ephraim. Uh, we're also going to be speaking tonight about an exciting new program we're launching called Mayan. When I first met Menachem, I didn't know what to think. I was a cool, secular college kid making my way through school and heard about a new program that came to campus, JHP. JHP has been an instrumental part of my life since I met Menachem over 20 years ago. Through JHP, I've been able to begin the Jewish journey I didn't have growing up that directly led me to the Jewish and philanthropic life that I lead today. America has been the greatest gift to Jews. It has accorded us full citizenship while simultaneously the possibility of maintaining our distinct religious identity. But alas, this spectacular binary opportunity is lost on so many. Hundreds of thousands of our youth are simply opting out of Judaism. Actually, it's simpler than, I don't know, canceling your Netflix account. It's a crisis of epic proportion. And then Menachem enters the scene and he invents the wheel of Jewish engagement. And exactly like the classic wheel did, he changes everything. Menachem recognizes that for emerging adults and young professionals, the load of being Jewish for various reasons, all, it seems to me, rooted in a lack of inspiring Jewish education, is too heavy or onerous or tedious or simply uninteresting to bear. So they drop it. But it doesn't have to be that way. Not if Menachem could provide the means to propel them forward Jewishly, not in compartmentalized fashion with Judaism being an appendage, but in holistic manner, in sync with their overall self-construal. You know, everyone wanted to do something, and a lot of people did a lot of something. But until Menachem came along, no one knew how to really do this. It was Menachem who came up with the absolutely then radical peer-to-peer -peer model that is employed today ubiquitously by every single organization, large or small or medium, in doing so, Menachem invented the model that has attracted and has maintained ties with hundreds of thousands of Jews who might have otherwise been disconnected from our people. Menachem understood that the old models of institutionalized Judaism, the establishment, the denominations, the top to bottom models were all going to become much less important because this generation wanted to own their own wheels. Menachem had the vision, and with the partnership and mammoth assistance of his good friend, Mr. George Rohr, founded Chabad on Campus International. Today, it's almost impossible to imagine the Jewish world without that critical and unstoppable organization. But let me just explain what Menachem was up against in that scenario. Chabad rabbis and rebbitons are incredibly dedicated to the cause. No one was going to drop anything. But at the same time, no one had the ability to really see beyond the creation of their own wheel because it takes a lot of work to create your wheel. Menachem had to come along and tether those wheels to a larger structure and again had to do it in this really delicate way so that these independent entrepreneurial spirits wouldn't feel like their identity and independence had been usurped, but rather recognize how this was giving them greater strength and traction in moving forward in our collective mission. Okay, so, 
these are pictures of the Rebbe inscribed with the, world, with the words Karavelt, which means do everything you can to make a huge difference in the world. I want to ask the following. Give us a hand. We can't do it alone. We haven't done it alone until now. And it'll make an immense difference in the world. Apathy, anti-Semitism, anti-Israel sentiment. We live in a world where people easily dismiss and disregard information. To answer this, we have found ways to give young people a Jewish perspective, a reason to embrace their heritage, associate with Israel, and find meaningful ways to contribute and become actively involved in our community. How many of you have been touched by these efforts and have become leaders in your own right? We must build on this momentum together. Now is the time when it's needed more than ever. What do we bring to the table? Absolute and total commitment. Absolute love and devotion to every Jew. We believe that people are good. We bring a connection to the Rebbe who teaches us to give each and every person with unqualified love. That's the example he has given us, and that is our platform. We embrace every Jew as a giver and a receiver. Every person has something crucial to contribute. Together, we have created programs that have revolutionized the world of outreach through Jewish heritage programs, peer-to-peer -peer methodology. We created models which helped those with food insecurity and engaged unprecedented numbers of volunteers from all parts of the Jewish community to the Jewish Relief Agency. JRA, born and headquartered in Philly, is now in five other cities. We're fighting the mental health crisis on campus with our Cogwell program, which trains hundreds of students each year. We live in a world where academics have a strong effect and sometimes a negative effect in terms of Israel and Judaism. We have hosted many conferences with high-level academics and key influencers to educate the educators to shift some mindsets. Now we're excited to be building the Mayan Collaborative. It's an incubator and resource center which will centralize our administration and fundraising and facilitate uniform program expansion. Mayan will become a platform for the innovation of new ideas. It will improve and expand present programs and will expedite collaboration. Tracking communication between moving objects and really busy people takes time, energy, infrastructure, and human resources. This all requires funding. There are hundreds of tested and wonderful programs hidden in our Chabad houses. Programs that my friends are hiding, and I want to help them, and they want to help me. We're doing JHP and Cogwell, and there are so many super creative colleagues propelled by the same values with amazing activities just waiting to be developed and scaled to other communities. We need to work closely with really talented additional new staff and our alumni partners to use best business practices. This will create a legacy of our innovative and forward-thinking approach and will address the growing challenges facing our community. Imagine JHP growing from 10 to 100 campuses reaching 100,000 students. Imagine this for your children, your grandchildren, and their friends. We have created innovative techniques and come up with out-of-the-box solutions, but much more is needed for the generations to come. We have so much to build on. There are endless opportunities, and now more than ever, we're looking for ways to expand our impact and strengthen our core for maximum long-term sustainability. There is no one size fits all. Every program and every person is special. And you have to recognize the treasure within each and every person to bring it out. That takes a lot of resources. I know we can develop and build this with your help. When I first met Menachem, I didn't know what he was talking about either. <laughs> It's not just the sum of its parts. The whole is much, much bigger than the sum of all the parts that are here tonight. What brings me here is not only what has happened as a result of the drive, the tenacity, the imagination, the vision, the creativity, uh, the ability to irritate uh, of one man, Rabbi Menachem Schmidt, and all that has been created as a result, but an understanding that all of that merely provides a foundation for what we have to now build on and what we have to, to take forward. But Rabbi Schmidt took it upon himself to uh, become a colossal nudge, an irritator, and to try and paint for me a picture 
which was very hard for me to understand. Today, in retrospect, we look at Chabad on campus and we say, yeah, well, yes, of course, and perhaps it's difficult to imagine campuses in North America and the American college scene without Chabad on campus. But back then, it certainly was not obvious to me, but it was crystal clear and completely obvious to him. So here we are, 270 centers later, all across North America. The same spirit that started Chabad on campus started JHP, Jewish Business Network, JRA, Cogwell, 20 Chabad centers in Philly and more. It's become clear to a group of us that this energy and this process of incubation, this incubation model, has to be systematized, and that's what we're talking about here tonight. Please don't wait for them to reach out to you. Be proactive and offer. You'll be really happy that you did, and you're, you're already partners. Become an even bigger partner, because it's unimaginable what there is still to be accomplished. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, George, and thank you for all you do. So thank you all for joining us this evening, and thank you for supporting Menachem and his vital work. We are truly honored to even get the opportunity to honor you and also embarrass you just a little bit. And we also truly look forward to partnering with everybody here in Mayan for our community and for many, many years to come. So thank you again for being here, and we look forward to your support and working together on this very, very exciting initiative. Thank you. Woo!